Hello, hello. Well, I'm back here at my parents' house on Lake Ontario in Canada. We had a massive storm this year. Lake Ontario is three feet higher than normal, and with the higher water, we had to repair our land on the water's front. Uh, pulling up a whole bunch of rocks, we came across stuff we've never seen before. I don't know how many people actually have. Mind you, this is Lake Ontario. So what this is, is coral. That's right, you heard me. This is coral from Lake Ontario. It's a leaf. We'll flip it upside down, we have what looks to be a shell. Some rather weird boreholes. I have no idea how old this is. We've now found four different pieces, four different times of day, four different days of the week from three different people. So that's that one. Here's the other one. This one reminds me more of a shell. You can see from the definition of my finger, sorry for the cut mark, but I've been playing in rocks. That yeah, this one does remind me more of a shell. And we have this one. I think these are sponges. If anyone knows for sure, you can make a comment. I'd be happy to uh, do more research, giving a proper direction to research. But going down to my local aquarium in the saltwater section, their stuff looks a lot like this. It looks like they're beautiful. So that's three, and here's the fourth one. Now mind you, as I said, we have a 250 foot beachfront. Along that beachfront, these were found in four different locations. And for a size comparison, small, medium, large, there is a average male size hand. And again, this buddy was found in there, Lake Ontario. But you know what? I'll go down and show you guys exactly where I found it. So it's currently July 2017. And we had massive land erosion. So during this land erosion, I have to get these bricks put in. We used to go three feet into the water and have a beachfront. That's all gone. And as you can see from the rocks in the water, when the excavators came to pull rocks from the um, shoreline up into the road to fix it, they pulled up these massive old rocks. Now these things have water wear similar to the bottom of waterfalls like Niagara Falls uh, and the Niagara Gorge. So hunting around, I mean, these, these are everywhere. These are rocks that we don't think have been really touched or seen by human eyes ever. They were way underground here and dragged up out of the water, as I said, to fill up this hole. So looking around in these rock areas, we came across these corals. The calcite, and you've seen probably one of my other videos, are found from some of the uh, local rocks the city dropped down from the quarry. But up along here, we got a couple more old growth rocks. Uh, so this used to be like beach, baseball sized rocks to small little pebbles, kind of like down what you see there, all over. And as you can see through the water, those are big rocks now. We have no idea where, where our beach went to and it's not here anymore. Uh, here's another old growth rock. I call them old growth rocks. Obviously it's wear, old wear rock. But we can tell from um, those corners, this is some serious water wear. Um, as I said, we've lived here since 2001. We've never seen anything like this. 
Uh, you can see that pipe way back there in the distance. There's a small portion of brown at the far right hand side of the pipe. That's the only part that used to be exposed. Everything else we had grass and a whole um, shoreline. And then the beach went out to like, kind of where those pier uh, poles are over there and all the way across. All gone. But you know what, that's part of living on a lake. You uh, have to respect that the ocean and the water is far more powerful than humans. And all we can do is uh, live and enjoy it. So that's our, uh, where we found the coral. We found it actually right down in here. Since I deviated a bit. We found it right down in here. And yeah. And over there. And then over there. So I have a I have a sneaking suspicion that there's actually a lot more stuff down inside this water that we don't know about. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, honestly, if you guys know anything about coral reef in Lake Ontario, please send me a message. I really want to find out more about this. Um, I have the equipment to go down in the water. I have metal detectors. I have everything. Now, obviously not to find a coral reef, but for other reasons I have the metal detectors. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any information on to, as to why those are there, the historical um, reasons for oceanic waters in this area, uh, we are close to the Niagara Escarpment, which I know was a riverbed. This used to be an ancient seabed. I just want to know more about why this coral is there and if we can get any more to uh, show everyone else. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.